sitting in a new spot this morning. Yesterday's hunt over that buck bed again was uneventful. Hard to say if he's been back in there or not. They're just not laying down a lot of sign in here for whatever reason. So I decided just to switch it up, go somewhere new, sitting in what we call the Thanksgiving spot because this is a spot we first found on Thanksgiving back when bucks were actually running through here. So it's been usually a pretty good spot for us. Just figured I'd come in here, see if I didn't see any signs, see what's going on back here, pretty close to the infamous high wall spot. Chance is sitting up on Claire on the other side of this property in a new area where we think there's some buck bedding way closer to some ag fields. He's probably like 50 yards to 100 yards from some uh, some soybeans and some standing corn. So hopefully maybe he's having a little bit more luck just being closer to ag. I'm somewhat close to ag. I'd like to feed out here on the alfalfa. I don't see any sign from where I'm sitting right here on my walk-in, but I didn't really look around on my walk-in. So hopefully we have a little bit of luck because yesterday me and dad were here we didn't see a dang thing so we're hoping for a little bit more luck back here at least see some deer and uh, continue to fine-tune our spots Just does for me this morning, probably six or seven of them. So a good, good sized doe group or a couple doe groups running around through here. No bucks with them. We're getting here to the middle part of October. You'd think maybe bucks would be trailing around a little bit or at least at least moving through back here. There always were before, but like we've mentioned multiple times, it's kind of changed back in here in this high wall area. Just deer activity is lower, buck activity is way lower back here. So just those this morning. Sounds like Chance didn't see really anything this morning either so I'm gonna wait for these does to kind of work off give them a little bit more time and then probably climb down here and we'll make a game plan for next weekend I think we're gonna switch it up when we get away from this uh, southern public land unit go back to some different places we haven't hunted in a while hope we find some deer there but the deer are being elusive the bucks are being elusive that's for sure we walked a uh, piece of public land yesterday just hoping to do a little bit of bump and dumps I don't know how many acres it is, I'll probably throw it up on the screen. Walk the whole thing, didn't bump a single deer. So that's kind of what we're working with here. You can't can't kill them if they're not on the piece of public you're hunting. We're gonna bounce around to a few others, hope to find them.
Well, that's about it for the action that we have seen over the last two weeks here to start October. It's been not very good on these pieces of public. We've seen tons of hunting pressure on these small pieces of public that we have here in Nebraska. So it's hard to get away from where other hunters actually are. So now we're kind of in that search and find mode. We just need to find the bucks. So I'm going out to check some trail cameras now. We're gonna see what's on those, kind of go from there. We were kind of in the southern part of where we hunt deer here in Nebraska the last couple weeks. We weren't even seeing any like buck sign. Like in traditional spots where we've seen bucks in the past, we weren't seeing anything. So hunting pressure is definitely up. And on these small pieces of public, if there's hunting pressure, the deer are just gonna move out, the bucks especially. So we'll check some trail cameras and I'll talk a little bit more about our strategy. Property number two now. I'm gonna stand here on the side of this hill out of the wind, hopefully. But that first property that I just went to was kind of just a spot that we hung a trail camera on a whim. Thought it might be an overlooked spot and based on the trail camera pictures and July and August it was, but when we went to hunt it, there was no deer there. Checked the camera at that time, no deer on the camera. So we just kind of let that one go. The second property here that I'm at is one we hunted quite a bit early. It was going to be our number one spot based on the size, quality, and number of bucks that we were getting on camera on a consistent daylight basis. This is going to be our number one spot. We came in and hunted it like the third time we hunted it, and there was another guy came walking in went right down in the middle of this draw wind was all wrong for where he sat and then we pulled that camera and we noticed that the bucks were now 2 a.m. 3 a.m. and we only had maybe two bucks on there instead of you know over 10 that we had on there before so that hunting pressure like we've talked about before here in Nebraska on these small properties you get one or two guys in there hunting it the wrong way those big bucks aren't gonna have it so it's so hard to find bucks on public land in Nebraska, in the area that we're at, the public land is just so small and there's not very many options. So we're going to do our best now to try to find the deer back. Part of that is checking trail cameras, part of it's doing some in-season scouting. A little bit frustrating, we're trying not to get too down on ourselves. But hopefully these trail cameras give us some information, but we're kind of struggling through, but we're going to find out how good we actually are, I guess. I think we can find them back. It's just going to be a little bit of a struggle. Pressure has just been crazy. So we'll go in, check this trail camera, uh, check the camera, the memory card when we get home. Hopefully we see some sign on the way in. We haven't seen crap for rubs or scrapes or anything on that other southern property. So we'll see.